Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 7th of September. Uh, the old wraparound clouds hanging tough over parts of Alabama today, but parts of the state are in bright sunshine. But our weather looks quiet for a while. The tropics, the big uh, topic as we often expect in September. Let's go right some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. We'll start with a view coming from Hamilton, Alabama. And it's a beautiful afternoon, blue sky, a few scattered clouds around, but uh, elsewhere around here, it's kind of cloudy. There's the Tuscaloosa sky cam, and they started off the day with sunshine this morning, and the clouds have actu actually uh, wrapped back in there this afternoon. It's mostly overcast at uh, <clears throat> 2 o'clock this afternoon. But if you want some sunshine, how about the Alabama Gulf Coast? Gorgeous down there. That's the Dolphin Island Sky Cam at the Dolphin Island Sea Lab. And uh, not a cloud in the sky. Just beautiful. All right, there we go. Big upper low north of us. And, uh, of course, uh, the east is nice and cool because of that. Temperatures, again today, way below average. And there's a, a good look at the visible satellite shot. You know, I think these are fantastic. I mean, it would take a long time to study why the clouds are in that exact configuration. But you can see that uh, the sky is clear down in southwest Alabama. you got some nice breaks in the cloud cover over west and central Alabama and pretty thick elsewhere. And, of course, where the clouds are hanging tough, it is cool. Uh, Gadsden 66 at 2 o'clock. Uh, Birmingham 70, the warm spots, Tuscaloosa and Montgomery at 75. And, of course, they've seen the most uh, sunshine today, the shoals. Up in northwest Alabama, they've seen some sun. They have 72. And around the nation, you know, uh, that heat is really fading. You know, Oklahoma and Texas were baking for so long. Uh, good to see numbers only in the uh, 70s and 80s out there. And you really have to go to the deserts to find any really hot uh, weather. There's a watch warning map. Of course, all of the real big issues are up in the northeast, and that's old Lee, our friend, that wet us down a few days ago. Uh, flash flood watches in effect from uh, Washington, D.C., up into the interior parts of New England. Uh, severe weather risks for the rest of today and tonight. Got a slight risk for the middle Atlantic coast around Chesapeake Bay and elsewhere things are quiet. All right, the rain for the next five days. Uh-oh, look down there in the Gulf. Looks like that's going to be a storm called Tropical Storm Nate. And the guys at HPC are in the belief that it will be moving up toward the central Gulf Coast uh, for next week. Now, understand, this is not you know, carved in stone. There are differing opinions here. But uh, if this is right, parts of the Gulf Coast and the Deep South could be dealing with another big wind and rain event next week. So let's get in there and talk about it. Uh, we got three, a tropical trio, Katia, the hurricane, Maria, new tropical storm in the central Atlantic, and that deal down there in the Bay of Campeche, which should become Tropical Storm Nate pretty soon. We'll start with Maria, and you can clearly see what's happening here. Drier air is entering the circulation from the uh, west, and that's really uh, knocking down the intensity. The, the estimated winds are down to 85 miles per hour. And there's the track, no change. It's a recurving storm passing between Bermuda and the east coast of the United States, and that's going to slingshot up towards Scotland early next week as a post-tropical storm. Maria in the Atlantic looking pretty good. Around 14 north and uh, 43 west. Guidance on Maria, very good agreement. Bending northward in five days, and that should make it a recurving system like uh, Katia. There's the intensity guidance, and really, a lot of the models leave this thing as a tropical storm, and there's some credibility to that because of the wind shear and other things. There's the track from the Hurricane Center, and they are a little to the left of the guidance for some reason. Uh, they're uh, pu putting this thing close to the Leeward Islands by Saturday morning. And note, all across the track, it's a tropical storm. They do not bring this to a hurricane, and I think that's right. And again, there, there's a pretty decent amount of shear. And don't forget, you know, there's been some upwelling out there from Katia. Uh, so, and again, I wouldn't be shocked if they adjusted that thing farther north in coming days, but uh, the longer-range guidance recurves Maria with no threat to the United States. We'll keep an eye on that. And could this be Tropical Storm Nate in the Bay of Campeche, the far southwestern Gulf? Sure looks like it. 
Where is it going to go? Everybody wants to know. And, and again, a lot of people have cruises and beach trips and all kind of things here. And uh, at this early stage of the game, it's just hard to say. that There's the guidance. And really, most models just meander this thing in the Gulf for the next five days. Um, the Canadian brings it up in here. In fact, uh, let me just dig that. I was going to show that later in the video here. I'll just go ahead and dig up the Canadian now. This is the Canadian Valid Sunday evening at 7 p.m. local time. A tropical storm at Mobile Bay. And remember, you know, the European did this yesterday. So that's the one global model that brings it right up the chute with a big wet down wind rain, just like Lee. That would be Sunday night and Monday of next week. But that is an outlier uh, at this point. Could it happen? Yes. I think if it does happen, it's going to be later in the week next week. But just wanted to show you that. Here's the uh, intensity guidance on Nate. And uh, you got a couple of models bringing up to a hurricane. Most keep it a tropical storm. And we'll just watch it. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the GFS and the European here. First off, the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run valid at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, Thursday evening. Big upper low north of us. And uh, down below that <clears throat> uh, should be a, a dry day and a brighter day. You know, the, the wraparound clouds should be gone. And uh, highs beginning to creep up. I mean, we, we all know it's not going to stay this cool for long in September. Uh, most uh, models are ranging from 75 to 80 tomorrow uh, with a partly sunny sky, and uh, uh, Katia is making the recurve. There's Friday. Should be a sunny day with low 80s, uh, 80 to 83. Uh, no rain for high school football Friday night. Saturday starting off the weekend. Uh, you can see the... Uh, Uh, weather looks here pretty good, uh, and we warm up. Again, we're talking probably mid-80s, partly sunny. The upper low might kick off a few showers north of here. Don't think that'll be a problem. And uh, and then there's Sunday. Now, we're dry. Down there in the bottom of the screen, the, the GFS is doing the same thing with potential Nate. It's drifting it back into Mexico. It is not bullish on pulling it northeast. Um. And again, Maria's over there on the right. Looks pretty puny. We'll go to Monday, and you can see there's still broad troughing over the east. And um, we'll go down below that, and the GFS <clears throat> has Nate near the Mexican coast. Nowhere close. We're dry. And Maria, the tropical system, is in the Atlantic, well east of the United States. We'll go to Tuesday of next week. Again, we're dry as a bone. Now, we start to warm up. We'll be back in the upper 80s. Understand next week will be much warmer. Thickness values are coming up. It'll be, you know, feel more like September should. Maria looks kind of puny, and again, it's near Bermuda. And just for the fun of it, let's check the European. <clears throat> By golly, the European is dry as a bone like the GFS, and it's doing what the GFS is doing now. The 12Z run takes Nate in the Bay of Campeche and drifts it into Mexico. So now we have good agreement in the European and the GFS. No impact here. Drifts into Mexico, no problem. But the Canadian brings it up in here, and I, I'm telling you with this persistent trophiness, I, it, it could happen. So for those people that are planning you know, cruises and beach trips, uh, I can't rule out anything next week. We could very well have a tropical storm coming up toward the central Gulf Coast toward the middle or end of next week. That's my gut feeling. But we'll see. That's, but that's not a forecast. Gut feelings are not forecasts. Uh, Wednesday of next week, we're still dry and uh, nice and quiet. Check the end of the forecast on the uh, 23rd. Look at that vortex over Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And that doesn't look like summer anymore, does it? That old 594 ring is gone, man. It's out of here. And down below that, a strong cold front's blown through here. Uh, cold air wrapping as a cold, cold for the season. And a tropical system down there around Key West uh, to boot. So it's always an interesting time of the year to make that transition from the uh, uh, hot days of summer to the interesting days of the cool weather season. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.